Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day. Today I want to bring you some of the graphic programs I use um, quite regularly to get uh, the job done. I do, uh, I use Photoshop and different things for different things, but uh, a lot of times maybe I'm on a different computer and I just need some quick graphics done. I just like to be able to use the browser and log on. Many of these programs do have upgrades that you can purchase. I've been able to get through. There's one I'll talk about I did purchase, but mostly I just use these programs for free and it gets the job done uh, and I share them with my students and other teachers and they like these uh, programs too. So stick around as I go through seven of the graphic uh, online graphic uh, editors that I think are most useful. One of my go-to online graphic programs is Canva. I've used this for many things, whether it be my YouTube thumbnails, channel art. Uh, at school, I use it to create designs on it. Very easy to use. I've shown my students how to use this, and the free account on this works very, very well. There is an upgrade that you can uh, access for about $10 a month. I've never used it, and I've found the free features very, very good. I'm just going to log in real quickly to show you kind of what it looks like here. I'm going to log in with my Google account here. Oh, I better do that again. There I'm logged in and you can see some of the stuff that I, it saves all my stuff. You can see some thumbnails that I've worked on, uh, some other uh, things for Facebook, but you have so many different things that you can create uh, from templates. You can see here, I was just uh, playing around with a, a book cover here, but if I look across the top, you can see if I click more, you can see all these great uh, designs that they have for you, whether it be book covers or magazine covers or your social media. You can also create your uh, custom uh, if you know the particular width and height and pixels or millimeters or inches you can go ahead and design it from there once you start uh, with it so if I was going to pick uh, let's say if I was going to make a thumbnail real quickly you will be able to see that um, what ones are the free ones and which ones uh, you have to upgrade to pay more just by hovering over you can see that there's a dollar sign so for this one you'd have to pay for it uh, but if you're looking for a free one as you go over them, you'll be able to see right here that it says free or free. And I find these work very well to get the right dimensions. And from there, you can just click on things and you can see you have your different fonts. You can go to your elements on the side and you have free photos that you can use. Uh, there's lots of free ones. Uh, also, there's paid ones too. Uh, you can see from the shapes, uh, you can add, I'm not going to go through everything in here, but it's very easy to just to click tap, resizing, and as you click on the different ones, you can quickly delete or link or different things. So Canva, one of my go-to graphic design programs, really easy to use. I would check it out. I do have a video uh, for this one getting more in depth. I'll put it down below. Another one I use quite a bit is Adobe Spark. Now this one is completely free and being Adobe, you know the quality is gonna be there. And I like the stock footage of the, the, of the pictures that come, comes with this one too. So really quickly, I'm already logged in just the same way you can log in with your Google Connect with your Google account or created account. But when you hit the plus here, you have a few different options too. The post where you could create your thumbnails and everything uh, on this one post and you can create a page, kind of like a web page uh, where you're telling a story story on the web, a really attractive uh, way to present information, or you can create a simple little video. It's not your typical video with actual uh, movies in it, but more of a story that you're putting together where you can add your voice. I'm just going to quickly uh, click on the post. I do have a video of this one. I'll link it down below if you're looking for more information about Adobe Spark. But I'll click on the post just to give you a little quick overview here of some of the little things you can do in here. Uh, so what you would do right away, you could uh, just write, I'll just write example here, and I could hit continue, and it would just start with this. You can see I have Instagram selected. A lot of times for myself, I'm using the YouTube. Uh, so if I scroll across the bottom, you can see YouTube thumbnail, but you have a bunch of different uh, template sizes uh, started here. So if I was gonna go, I'm gonna go back to my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, oh, they got YouTube channel art now. Uh, that's a new one here. So I'll just hit continue. And now you can see what you can do is uh, I can click the add button up here if I wanted to add another photo, text, or delete something. I can go through and click on these if I want to uh, just uh, get quick examples of, of these templates here. And if you click on something twice, if I go back to it and click it again, you can kind of see how it changes it uh, up each time too. So what I like to do when I'm using this one is if I'm uh, kind of stuck for 
time and I just want to kind of get a quick, uh, nice uh, template or a nice uh, image going, I'll just kind of run through uh, the different layouts that they have. And then you usually get something that comes out uh, quite, uh, quite nice. So you can change the palette colors if you wanted a different color, your background, you can add filters to the images uh, behind it. You can, uh, you can see the colors, you can pick your individual uh, colors. Oop, that's for the background though. So I'm gonna leave this as the photo right now. I'm just gonna click on my photo here. And then you can see over here, it says replace. So if I wanted to re replace the photo in the background, I can go find photos, Creative Cloud, Lightroom, Dropbox, or Google Photos. A lot of times I just use the find photos. So if I, I'm gonna say, I'll just type computer here. And you can see that you'll get a list of different uh, ones to use. So if I click on it, it puts it in. Uh, at the end, you can uh, to get the video to get the image that you want. Just simply click share, and when this loads up, you'll see that you'll have a download option here. So I can download this option and then uh, use it how I want to use it here. So, and you can see a little bit more about the sharing uh, in this part too. So definitely, uh, if you're looking for a completely free uh, graphic design uh, tool online, check out Adobe Spark. Another program I really like is Snappa. So Snappa is very similar to Canva. I'm gonna go get, uh, get logged in here. Uh, you, with this one, it doesn't connect through Google, but you just create an account in here, very easy. So once you're in, you can see you get kind of the similar features of Canva. You have a paid for version that you can upgrade. If you check up here to upgrade to pro, I've never done it. I've just always used the free version in this one. You get your social media posts. I've used this again for my thumbnail and channel art on this one. Uh, I'll just scroll down. You can kind of see the different ones here too, but you can create your custom up top. I'm just going to go ahead and click, click on my YouTube thumbnail and it kind of works the same way uh, to see the free ones. So it has the lock on it you know it's not free but if you were starting from I'll just use this free one it doesn't have the lock on it you can see real quickly across the top and I like how this is designed uh, snap it here you can see from the size the resize up here uh, to all the different things you can choose so if I wanted a different background uh, and I like how uh, yeah just how quickly the layout on this one uh, works uh, the effects I could darken change things around you can see all the different effects here I have my text I could add my head Heading, subheading, some body text. I have graphics if I really want to, I, I could search through the graphics or I could do the uploads too here if I wanted to add a quick picture uh, to this and move it around. You can see how easy it works on this one. And I have my shapes. So you can see very easy to use. Uh, this is another one that I like to use. The free version works really, really well. Uh, you can see I have the save, I have the share, and I have the download on this one. Uh, for the transparent image, this is uh, something, and same thing with Canva. If you wanted the transparent background, this is part of the upgrade uh, package that you would need uh, to do. So anyway, check out Snappa, another great program online. I haven't seen too many glitches uh, on it when I'm working on it. Just go to uh, snappa.com and you'll get into this one. Now, Pixlr is a good app, if you, especially if you're on the Chromebooks or something, uh, in order to get students to create if some doing some image editing with photos. I would say it's, well, not comparable to Photoshop, but reminds me of maybe a Photoshop more like eight, nine years ago, but it can do some very similar things. Uh, and I found it has gotten better over time. I remember it used to be kind of glitchy. Uh, if you can put up with the ads for the free version, everything, you can get the Chrome extension that connects right to your Google Drive too. But if you just go to uh, pixlr.com, you can see if I was creating, I can open image or create a new image. And this is kind of more of the photo editing. So a little bit differently, different than the other programs that I just showed you. Uh, so if you needed a enhance a photo, uh, this works great with this, or you can create, you can see I have the brush tools. And if you're used to Photoshop, uh, you can see all the to tools here that you can adjust to and change uh, from the cropping to the move uh, to the marquee on these ones. So I'm not going to go over the whole program, but if you're looking for a program to do some photo editing and if you're familiar with Photoshop or maybe you're on the Chromebook and you want something to do photo editing, check out Pixlr. It's a great option for the online uh, environment here. 
sticking with my photo editing here, Photopea is a program I like uh, a lot because I can actually open up Photoshop files in this. So the .psds. So I'll give you an example here and you can see it kind of has that look of uh, Photoshop. Again, it's not, doesn't have all the features and everything, but if you're looking to be able to open a PSD and you don't have uh, it available to on the computer you are, try Photopea. I'll give you an example here. I'll just go file open and I'm gonna find a PSD. Here's a PSD file that I had uh, from a thumbnail I created. And you can see down on the right hand side, all the different layers. And so if you're used to wor working with layers, uh, you can access it. It just opens up that PSD. So uh, again, similar to Pixlr in a way that it has the photo editing capability. But what I like about this one, if you need to open that PSD file and you can connect it right to your Google Drive again uh, using the extension anyway. So check out Photopea if you need to open up some PSDs or do a little photo editing. Uh, it's definitely a, a program uh, to take a look at. PicMonkey is actually one I purchased a membership for. Uh, very simple to use and I love the different effects uh, that you can put in it. Right now I just have the free version, I switched back to it, but for a couple of years I actually paid uh, for this one. So I'm just gonna log in to show you um, on this one. You don't actually technically have to uh, log in. I gotta get my right uh, email account here on this one. Uh, you could actually uh, do it right from uh, the start page, but I'm gonna log in here on this one. So uh, anyway, you can go right to edit. You can see right here up top and I'm gonna just upload a photo uh, to edit. I'm just gonna grab something from my, I just took a picture here. I'm gonna upload uh, this one from my computer here. And I'm gonna just do some effects here. So the quality of this photo might be a little blurry. I just took it, uh, a quick one with my, uh, with my camera, with my video camera here. Uh, so I'm gonna go to, I just show you some of the different uh, options. You can see uh, under the basic edits of crop, I can go through and I can uh, apply a different cropping to this. So if I move this a little bit, if I just wanted my face, maybe this a little larger, move this around, and then I can hit apply. And you can go in and go get an idea of the different things you can do. Uh, I can, I'm just gonna click on a few of these. You can see if you're uh, even adding makeup, I could go through and fix different things. I could add text uh, to this. Uh, going through the overlays, I could add some uh, different things on this one. Maybe if you wanted, maybe if I wanted Oh, then as I, I forgot, I had the free version here. So uh, this uh, is a, some of these things are a paid for one here. What I'm going to go to is uh, something I've kind of shown the kids before at different parts of the uh, year. So I'm going to zombify myself here. So if I go to zombies and I want to go over my skin here, all I have to do is go over my skin and it's going to turn me into a zombie on this one. So really simply, I could have fixed my eyes after. I won't do this for too long here, but this is something the kids really like. Um, you can, you know, from vampires to zombies at, the, at Halloween, uh, you can see the zombie bruise. And I'm gonna apply this, I'll apply this. And as I go through, you can add, uh, if I wanted to go to a different part on this, but I think you get the idea. You can have a lot of fun um, adding effects in PicMonkey here. Uh, they do have templates uh, that you can work with. They, again, uh, the upgrade feature on this one. So like I said, this is something I have paid for right now. I'm just on the free version uh, again, but PicMonkey, uh, definitely something you can create a lot of uh, cool graphics in. And if you have the students play with it again, the accounts, uh, it's, uh, they get a lot of entertainment out of this one. Lastly, what I want to show you is vector. So if you want to make vector images, so you don't want to lose quality as you resize them, uh, try this one here. So if you're thinking of a similar product like Adobe Illustrator, which can make your vector images, this one, you can download it, it's free, but you can use the online version too. So I'm just going to click on the online one and this is free. Uh, you can see this is a temporary file. If I want to uh, save it, I need to uh, log in to save my work, but I'm not going to log in right now. Just a quick overview. You can see uh, the different options on this, what you can create uh, when I select the tools down the left hand side and then I can change uh, the colors and different things on this side here. Uh, so if I keep going down, you can see I have my rounded rectangle, my ellipse, uh, my pen tool. So if I wanted to create my shape, so if you're doing uh, logos uh, on this one, make sure I switch here. Uh, you can see I can change the width and everything, the border of this one. I'll just create a shape 
here. Uh, continuing down, you can see that you have your text that you can just click and then type something on this one here. I did it twice. Uh, you can upload an image here and you can uh, add the shapes in here from here. So if you're looking uh, for a uh, vector program to create, as I said, those vector graphics that allow you to resize and it won't uh, degrade the quality of the image, try this one, it's free, the online, it has the option uh, to download this one too. So I hope you like these uh, seven tips that are seven websites I gave you for these. Uh, remember, these are free examples, but there's usually upgrade options. But I find a lot of times with the free examples, they work uh, pretty well. I've never really had to uh, go ahead and buy any of those. I did mention that I have bought PicMonkey to unlock it uh, to get some of the other features for a year or so. But now I'm kind of switched back to using them free. So try them out. I find they work very well, especially for different things from anything from home use to the classroom use. Uh, uh, remember, I do these weekly tech tips, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, share this with other people so they know about the graphic programs. And uh, if you know of other graphic programs, and I know there's lots out there, I had to kind of pick and choose which ones I wanted to show you today. Uh, just put them down in the comments uh, down below, and then uh, maybe I can make a, a follow-up video on this one. So thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next week.